When a toddler's thumb pushes against a trigger, where is the barrel of the gun typically pointing at? A. Towards the nearest wall. B. Directly at the child's face. C. Sideways towards the furniture. D. Upwards towards the ceiling. Putting a gun in a nightstand or next to your bed is A. Important for situational awareness. B. Not a safe storage method. C. A good offensive strategy. D. The safest place for it. What is the most secure location to keep a gun? A. Hidden out of sight. B. At a neighbor's house. C. On a high shelf. D. In a locked container. What are lock boxes generally made of? A. Sturdy, high grade metal. B. Plastic. C. Wood. D. Glass. In California, it is against the law to bring a gun into A. California State University. B. Court building. C. School. D. All of the above. Choose the safest backstop while shooting targets. A. Corrugated steel. B. A sheet of plywood. C. A tall berm, hill, or mound of earth. D. Twelve sheets of plywood. Which of the following does not meet gun safe? A. Shall be able to fully contain firearms and provide for their secure storage. B. Shall have a locking system consisting of at minimum a mechanical or electronic combination lock. C. A gun safe shall be capable of repeated use. D. A gun is always loaded and ready to use. A gun safe exterior walls shall be constructed of a minimum gauge thick steel. A. 9 gauge. B. 12 gauge. C. 15 gauge. D. 19 gauge. The mechanical or electronic combination lock utilized by the safe shall have at least possible combinations. A. 1, 0, 0. B. 1,000. C. 10,000. D. 100,000. How many basic gun safety rules are there for gun owners to understand and practice at all times? A. 4. B. 5. C. 6. D. 10. What is a safe direction? A. Only point a gun at an object you intend to shoot. B. Point a gun toward yourself or another person. C. An accidental discharge of the gun may not cause injury or damage. D. Keep the gun pointed in the safest possible direction. What is it called when you keep your finger off the trigger? A. Responsible firearm use. B. Basic gun safety rules for gun owners. C. Firearm trigger discipline. D. All of the above. Which of the following practice is safe? A. Keep your finger off the trigger. B. Rest your finger on the trigger. 
C. Moving around with your finger on the trigger. D. Keep your finger on the trigger. What are high-risk situations with firearms? A. Accessible firearms in the home. B. Ammunition and firearms stored together. C. Lack of supervision. D. All of the above. What is firearm safety? A. Proper storage. B. Educate your child. C. Safety devices. D. All of the above. When you may fire at a target? A. If there is only a movement. B. If you see a different color sound. C. If you found an unidentifiable shape. D. None of the above. What is the best way to learn to shoot a pistol? A. By shooting at water. B. By shooting at soft surfaces. C. By shooting at flat or hard surfaces. D. By shooting at shooting range. Which of the following you must wear when shooting a gun? A. Ear and eye protection. B. Hand protection. C. Chest protection. D. All of the above. According to pursuant to California Penal Code Section 25610, who can transport a handgun? A. A United States citizen over 18 years of age. B. A citizen who is temporarily in California. C. A citizen who resides in California. D. All of the above. In California, you may transport by motor vehicle any handgun provided it is and A. Loaded and locked. B. Unloaded and locked. C. Unloaded and secured in the glove compartment. D. Unloaded and hidden in utility compartment. Which of the following is known as non-concealable firearms? A. Handgun. B. Assault weapons. C. Shotguns and rifles. D. All of the above. Which of the following firearms must be unloaded while they are being transported? A. Shotguns and rifles. B. Pistols. C. Revolvers. D. All of the above. Can I give a firearm to my adult child? Can he she give it back to me later? A. Yes. B. No. C. Dealer transfer is required. D. Handgun safety certificate is required. How long do I have to wait to buy another handgun? A. One handgun in any 10-day period. B. One handgun in any 14-day period. C. One handgun in any 28-day period. D. One handgun in any 30-day period. May I carry a concealed firearm in California? A. Yes. B. No. C. Unless you have a valid carry concealed weapon license. D. None of the above.
Which of the following statements is false? A. Always keep your finger off the trigger. B. Always keep your finger outside the trigger guard. C. The trigger is for firing, the handle is for handling. D. Moving around with your finger on the trigger. To prevent accidental discharge, you must know. A. Your target. B. Its surroundings. C. And beyond. D. All of the above. You inadvertently pull the trigger when A. You are moving around with your finger on the trigger. B. Sudden loud noises or movements. C. Resting your finger on the trigger. D. All of the above. For maximum safety you should A. Store your gun in a different location than the ammunition. B. You should use a locking device. C. You should use a storage container. D. All of the above. You must store your gun. A. Secondary bedroom with a locking door. B. Storeroom with a locking door. C. In gun case. D. Lockbox or a gun safe. To gain more knowledge regarding operation of your gun you may contact with A. Your firearms dealer or manufacturer B. Firearms Safety Organization C. DOJ Bureau of Firearms D. All of the above You must be familiar with your gun. Which of the following statement is or true? A. To know mechanical characteristics. B. How to properly load. C. How to unload. D. How to clear a malfunction. E. All of the above. According to Penal Code Section 31700. A. Find or imprisoned if you fail to comply with firearms. B. Exemptions from the FSC requirement. C. Is a law help reduce the number of firearm accidents. D. None of the above. In which of the following mode of transfer the firearm safety certificate is not required? A. Retail sales. B. Intrafamilial transfers. C. Private party transfers. D. Pawn returns. Select all that apply safe handling demonstration requirement. A. Retail sales. B. Intrafamilial transfers. C. Private party transfers. D. Pawn returns. When DOJ conducts a firearms eligibility background check to ensure the purchaser is not prohibited from lawfully possessing firearms? A. Bedor dealer's record of sale documents submitted to the DOJ. B. After the firearms dealer delivered the firearm to the purchaser. C. During the 10 days waiting period. There is a mandatory day waiting period before the firearms dealer can deliver the firearm to the purchaser. A. 5 days. B. 7 days. C. 10 days. D. 14 days.
In general, which of the following eligibility criteria is are required for all firearms purchasers? A. At least 21 years of age. B. Purchasers must be California residents. C. Any valid driver's license. D. An identification card issued by the California Department of Motor Vehicles. In which of the following mode of transfer roster of handguns certified for sale in California is required? A. Retail sales. B. Intrafamilial transfers. C. Private party transfers. D. Pawn returns. DROS stands for A. Department Record of Sale. B. Distributor Record of Sale. C. Dealer's Record of Sale. D. Daily Record of Sale. In general, no person shall make an application to purchase more than one handgun within any period. A. 25 day. B. 30 day. C. 40 day. D. 90 day. In California, who is responsible to engage in retail sales of firearms? A. Any firearms dealers. B. Firearms manufacturers. C. Only licensed California firearms dealers. D. All of the above. The law exemption, immediate family means select all that apply. A. Parent and child. B. Grandparent and grandchild. C. Brother and sister. D. All of the above. Which of the following is exempted from the FSD requirement? A. Consignment returns. B. Intrafamilial transfers. C. Pawn returns. D. All of the above. As the owner of a firearm, it is your responsibility to understand and comply with which of the following law regarding firearms ownership? A. All federal laws. B. All state laws. C. All local laws. D. All of the above. What a GVRO does. A. Not possess a firearm or ammunition. B. Not purchase a firearm or ammunition. C. Relinquish any firearms and or ammunition to law enforcement, sell them, or store them with a licensed firearms dealer. D. All of the above. What are the two types of GVROs? A. Ex part GVRO. B. Temporary emergency GVRO. C. Emergency GVRO. D. All of the above. Which of the following is considered to be a locked container? A. The trunk of a car. B. The glove box of a car. C. The utility box of a car. D. All of the above. Can I carry a gun without a concealed weapons permit in CA? A. CCW permit is required. B. Della permit is required. C. Handgun safety certificate is required. D. Firearm safety certificate is required.
What is microstamping? A. Ballistic identification system. B. Laser guidance system. C. Technopolymer system. D. Microscopic marking system. Who is exempt from this requirement? Dealers may not sell any new handgun unless it is listed in the state DOJ roster of handguns certified for sale. A. Private party transfers. B. Certain single action revolvers. C. Pawn consignment returns. D. All of the above. Which of the following process may be used to prevent you from owning possessing a firearm in California? A. DOJ record check. B. California personal firearms eligibility check. C. National instant criminal background check system. D. Both B and C.